Okay, great. So first, you know, thank you very much for, you know, getting the opportunity to, you know, chat ab about some of our new venture here. Um, typically, you know, as we just say, uh, some of the technology really started from all universities uh, wearing multiple hats here, uh, being a professor at the university, and, and of course, you know, now starting to develop those technology to the next level. So um, as you can uh, start here, let me do that. Okay, it works. So what we started here is a white space, white space enterprise corporation. It's a new venture that really we um, developed to transform technology innovation into what we call precision healthcare tools and solutions. So, you know, we are not a, a, we are a small company, so we like to have a big vision um, as well. Um, but bottom line, what we try to do is to address some of the big, uh, you know, problems. So we know the fact, I think, you know, our previous uh, speaker uh, told us a lot about the overall environment in terms of the big problem that, you know, society is dealing with. And I will just highlight a few of them uh, that specifically uh, touch on some of our technology. So the first one is we all know that, you know, the uh, healthcare premium are growing uh, very fast. And in fact, there is an interesting part of it is there's a lot of waste as well in terms of uh, those costs. Uh, still worldwide cancer is still a, a biggest, you know, economic impact for any uh, cause of death. Although here in the US, maybe again, um, heart disease are number one. But what is interesting too, as we heard before, is the major global health challenge. There is more than a billion people who have uh, no access to any hospital doctor. Uh, and typically there is a big uh, number also uh, in the world, more than 18, uh, 19 countries don't have access to any uh, radiotherapy treatment, for example. Um, so this is the landscape here, uh, in which also we see us as consumer paying more and more for those medical premium uh, to address some of those uh, major challenges. So the opportunity that is emerging that I think now typically in Arizona is really a, a, a major uh, uh, pioneer of what we call now precision health. It has been called also maybe personalized health, uh, but it's really the concept of bringing that more precise, that kind of capability of measuring with more accuracy in terms of the diagnostics of those diseases, but also in terms of the guiding those therapy uh, and a more personalized uh, care. So we will really improve ultimately the quality of care uh, using those technology. But so we want to have a paradigm shift in terms of the healthcare delivery system. Uh, if you think about today, a very uh, uncoordinated uh, type of delivery system to something that will be in the future a lot more collaborative uh, with population management, more coordinated, multi-dimension, a lot more information. And the enabler that we see here is uh, really the, um, whoops. Okay, you can see, that's okay. <laughs> it's really the, 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 the target of therapy and personalized diagnostics. And the company here is really focusing on the sample because any of those procedures require to collect a specimen and ultimately to process a specimen. So we do what we call simplicity. We really want to de-skill and improve the performance at the point of contact or at the point of care. So ultimately, it has impact in the clinic. You want a very simple, fully integrated type of device to measure, because if we can measure better, we can monitor, and if we can monitor, we can manage better. So that's really the overall goal that we have uh, developing those technology platform. So our technology component, they are quite a broad uh, portfolio here. We have all kind of technology that we have been developing over the years on expertise, uh, leveraging microfluidics. Um, we have all kind of uh, integration capability of taking a complete uh, assay chemistry and integrating into a format that can be very cost-effective, rapid. So we have been uh, developing the uh, platform of rapid DNA technology in forensics, for example, for many years. But we are applying that technology way beyond 
uh, those kind of applications. So we look at bioassay chemistry that can be optimized, benefiting in fact of some of those integration and miniaturization technology. We can also uh, develop all kinds of technology using materials to manipulate, package uh, some of the reagent into those platforms. So we can really come with something that is very simple. It's a little bit that black box uh, we heard you know, earlier uh, today. It's really a simple thing that we want to have is just a, a capacity of taking a, a specimen from someone and preferably some biofluid that are easily uh, available like saliva, even small blood uh, sample, uh, like a finger stick, um, and, and then just process that, put that on, onto a device and get a measurement, and then take, the, take that uh, approach. So we have different type of instrumentation that we can develop that are either integrating those uh, assay chemistry and measurement for a specific disease, or they can be also interfaced with all kind of different detection technology. We're working at the uh, front part of DNA sequencing. As you know, there's a lot of very good technology there to get molecular information, but still you need to take a sample and prepare that sample, and sometimes it's very cumbersome to do that. So we try to automate that process. So about the company, a little bit more about some of the highlight of what we do. So I think we have multiple value driver in our portfolio in development. So we can address a lot of different unmedical needs. Uh, a big application for us is uh, measuring also radio sensitivity and radiotherapy. We have a portfolio of technology platform there um, that we are um, now getting into the clinics and going to large clinical trial for that. We have a group of experience um, team member and advisor that uh, really provide um, the overall uh, brain of the company here with a lot of expertise in life sciences uh, but also in the clinical application and biodefense that give us a broad portfolio of application of our technologies. Uh, so we have a large, again, IP position. So we have uh, multiple uh, co-development ongoing right now. We have opportunities for in-licensing and out-licensing uh, opportunities as well. And we have already developed a very large uh, collaboration um, network with public and private companies across the world, typically with many pro, uh, companies in Europe and Asia. So we'll have large underserved target market. So as I say, one example was you know, radiotherapy, but we have other uh, infection market for which most of those market segments are, are quite large. So we have over typically 200 million each uh, in terms of business opportunities there. We have a very complementary pipeline of programs, so we are leveraging those different components and technology uh, uh, building blocks to really address and, and, and very quickly some of those problems that are coming to us. Um, so in the next year or two, we really have a, a good um, active program. We are currently developing some bioinstrumentation uh, with large corporations across the world. Uh, we have a lot of uh, opportunities for funding that we have identified and applied for uh, through different federal uh, mechanisms to do that. And we have the experience, personally the experience for another company uh, that I built a few years ago uh, that really leveraged the federal funding to really up uh, and, and build a company uh, which now is, is going quite well. Um, I think in terms of, of financial, I think we are also, uh, we have no debt. Uh, we have a distributed uh, operating uh, network right now. Uh, we have some facilities that now we just started also at the uh, Chandler Innovation Incubator, but we try to leverage our resources across our advisor and, and team member across the world. So that's just, uh, I won't go in detail here, don't have much time to do that, but it's overall product development uh, portfolio that is actively uh, ongoing. Uh, so you have the code, uh, color code here going at the different level of maturity of those technology that we have uh, from the early stage of the R&D to some of those uh, product development phase. Uh, we have again different type of program across different application, uh, either in terms of the technology platform or in terms of the uh, disease or, or, or tools that we are developing as well. 
the goal for us in terms of simplicity is, of course, is integration, miniaturization of some of those processing of uh, those specimens. But also the goal for us will really be to be able to interrogate without preparing a sample and know what is in, inside the, the sample. And we have technology leveraging, again, the assay chemistry, nanotechnology, and physical sciences, the capacity of measuring molecular interaction at the macro scale. So we are very excited by those new technology that we'll be developing. So again, in terms of the leadership, we are very uh, fortunate to leverage a lot of uh, outstanding uh, scientists in, in the world. Uh, for example, David Azria is the uh, uh, director at the INSERM uh, at the University of Montpellier and the cancer uh, center there, a lot of capacity and is bringing to us also not only some proteomics uh, biomarker for radio uh, sensitivity, but also a huge uh, collection of specimen that we have access to. So we have 3,000 samples right now uh, for uh, doing, conducting some clinical uh, studies. So that's huge uh, for us because as you can imagine, company doing uh, manipulating specimen, we need those specimen and that's very valuable and, and very difficult to, uh, to reach for most of the small company. Uh, Professor Tuan is also an amazing uh, person. He's a director of the uh, Fitzpatrick uh, Photonic Center at Duke University. Uh, we do a lot of detection techniques and Raman techni uh, technique for the detection as well. So, and, and other people in different fields that we have as well um, supporting our uh, venture. So I wanted just to give a, a quick also uh, comment here is why we are in Arizona and why we think that Arizona help us. I think really we have been connected, of course, with all, uni your, all universities um, being part of one, uh, but also TGen has been a, an amazing partner for many years uh, for me, or clinical partner like Scottsdale LK and others in, in the Valley, uh, as well as some of the center of excellence of uni or universities across the state that really are helping us in terms of research partner but also local small companies here in the, in the valley uh, that have been supporting uh, a lot of outstanding manufacturing capacity. And I think uh, Ron Wilson, in fact, illustrated that on a large scale, of course, but I think Arizona has a lot of uh, um, resources to offer here. So in summary, um, again, simplicity for us will provide a capacity of measuring, monitoring, and managing health uh, condition uh, in, in a way that I think will really address the future of healthcare in different level and bringing those measurements not only uh, at, in a better uh, format at the clinical uh, level, but also potentially at home and at the uh, consumer and individual level. So with that, I think uh, that's the overall uh, concept here and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>